Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through another £200 worth of 10 peas, looking for the alphabet ones. Ideally, a couple of the ones we're still missing. So, 2018's progress. We are missing the letter D, G, K, no, not K, R, and T. So, for those that don't know, every letter of the alphabet has something quintessentially British printed on it, issued in 2018, which is this book, but also 2019, which is this book. So, 2019, we've had less time to hunt through it. Or hunt for them. So we're missing E G. Oh no, we've got E G. We've got L M J O R V and U. So let's cross our fingers. Hopefully today we're gonna have some luck. So we'll jump into some questions then. But first, as ever, a quick message uh, for those of you that aren't aware. The next Royal Mint tour I'm doing with a whole bunch of other coin tubers is going to be the seventh of March. Uh, so be sure if you're planning to get your strike your own. This will be the new dinosaur one. I can't wait to get it myself. Um, and if you want to come and meet me and the other coin tubers, feel free to come down to the Royal Mint and see us. We're on the one o'clock tour. We're there uh, quite a bit before and we'll be there quite a bit afterwards as well to mingle and chat to everyone that comes along. First question comes from Harry Meadlebog. Meadlebog? <laughs> um, are you glad that you started your coin collection? Yeah, 100%. I think, uh, well, I've collected coins on and off since I was a kid, but the YouTube channel I'm over the moon with. I mean, we're, I'm knocking on for 41,000 subscribers, which is, in my mind, Phenomenal, bonkers, absolutely insane. And I'm so, so grateful and thankful for everyone that subscribes, watches the videos, likes the videos, comments, all that stuff. It's just amazing, mind boggling. Um, Gary Baxendale says, do you think uh, as all the recent two pound coins should be able to get in your change and not commemorative only? So it's something I see more and more, um, people moaning and groaning about coins coming out of the hump, put into circulation. Um, yeah, I understand why. The more coins that there are to find, the more exciting it is for coin hunters, coin collectors, the collecting their change. Um, do I have a massive problem with it? I'm, I really don't. Um, I think it's more important that these things get commemorated. They get um, coins like the, the, the British um, um, uh, contribution to research, archaeology, with the new dinosaur fugitives, which I would imagine aren't going to circulation. Uh, not that I've seen official statements of it, but I've just heard rumours and my own personal opinion is they probably won't go into circulation. But it's nice that that's commemorated in some way. Um, you see it with stamps all the time. Stamps that... Uh, the amount of stamps that come out are unbelievable. And yes, you can use them all postally. Um, but I don't know. I just... I don't have as much of a problem with it. I don't see it as a money grab. I still... I, I call me naive, but I still see it as commemorating great people, great things about being British. Um, so I don't have an overriding concern about it. Obviously, I believe the more coins there are to hunt for, the more exciting it is. Um, but I'm not going to stand on my podium and bash the Royal Mint for making these designs and then not circulating them. I don't, again, I'm not 100% sure how much that is the Royal Mint's decision, uh, how much is the Treasury's decision, how much is out of the hands of the producers, the Royal Mint of the coins. Um, so I'm not going to bash them. They are the company that effectively creates and um, maintains this hobby. So anyway, that's my five cents about it. Um, but again, I'd love more coins to be in circulation. Don't get me wrong. The more, the better. Um, Pollyanna11 says, yes, please. I'd love to win. Would you rather have fingernails for teeth or teeth for fingernails? Oh, goodness. Um... I think teeth for fingernails is going to be the least. Oh, they would look gross, though. Oh, I don't know. I although aren't your fingernails made of the same thing as your teeth? So technically, no, fingernails are made of the same stuff as your hair, isn't it? Damn. Um, I don't know. I'm going to um, defer that to the comments. What would you prefer? Although that would look. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd have to stop appearing in videos if my teeth were fingernails, but. I couldn't do my videos without seeing my hands. I'm not sure everyone wants to see teeth on the ends of my fingers. <laughs> um, Arwend Lord says, Dear Christopher, you're one of my favourite um, YouTubers and I've always wanted to win one of your giveaways and hopefully I might win. Um, I also turned 14 this Halloween. Wow, happy birthday for Halloween gone. I hope you're <laughs> probably closer to your next birthday. Um, Anyways, I have two questions for you. What made you start collecting coins? I've just collected on and off since I was a kid. Um, and the YouTube channel, the success of that has really spurred me on to carry on going. Uh, if you could design any 50B coin, what would it look like? And what design? Uh, British counties. 
all the British counties like they did with the American states. Um, Monty788 says, Hi Christopher, great giveaway. After we've just had the 2018 mid-tish figures, do you think we'll ever see a coin as low as Kew Gardens again? Who knows? Possibly. I don't, because obviously Kew Gardens it wasn't an intention, it wasn't made intentionally to be rare. They just re reevaluated the amount of coins that were forecasted to be required um, and stopped minting them. So it wasn't a purposeful decision, unlike you see with some American, uh, the, 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 the um, what is it West Point Mint that are specifically minting lower uh, lower mintage coins um, so I don't know I think it'd be it'd be fun I mean we saw the 2018 Peter Rabbit and Flopsy Bunny um, they were pretty low mintages so who knows um, relaxing gameplay says uh, what's your prediction for Paddington at the Cathedral mintage figures it's gonna be higher than tower that's all I know <laughs> coin 101 hope says um, higher just wants to say what's your all-time favorite thing to do on a lazy day um, what do I do on a lazy day? I don't get many lazy days, I must admit. Uh, between working and doing the channel, uh, I am pretty much on the go most days. Um, the the most laziness I had was whilst I was on holiday last... Was it October I went on holiday? I can't remember now. It feels like a, an eternity ago. Um, I was just... I, I ate, I drank, and I slept at the beach uh, during the day. And that was about... That was a, a whole week of my life. So that's about the laziest I've been recently. Uh, but if I'm at home, I don't know, watching stuff on YouTube, watching Netflix stuff, uh, films, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, Narwhal's Wars Collect says, I have watched your videos since the time when you got all those Benjamin Bunnies. God, that was a while ago, wasn't it? I <laughs> uh, love your videos and look forward to every day when, uh, to, when a new video of yours come, comes out. I try to watch your live streams when I can. A question for you, what was your first video and how long ago was it? The first coin video, I think, was a £2 or a 50p hunt. Um, with awful lighting done on the floor um, I would get awful oh no it wasn't on the floor it was on a table but I stood I was sort of stood up hunched over doing it so it really hurt my back doing it and uh, then I started doing it on the floor then I finally decided to it was time to <laughs> record them on a, at a table um, but the first videos on my channel were stamp videos they're still there they're awful and I, I wouldn't recommend watching them but um, yeah no one was making any sort of major videos about stamps and I was I still am collecting stamps, so I thought, why not make some videos on it? And no one watched them, no one was interested, and I stopped doing it. There was about, I don't know, seven videos that I've edited on my PC that never ever went up. Um, but I think it was there was a big old break. It was from the, that was the July, and then the following February or so, I put my first uh, coin collecting video up, um, and here we are, almost two years later. Uh, <laughs> actually, we're we'll coming up to two years. Uh, any day now, I don't know the exact date off the top of my head, but coming up to two years doing the coin videos is insane. Uh, Allotment Digger says, what's the coin you would love to see going into circulation? Frankenstein £2, my favourite £2 coin. I would have loved that to go into circulation. Pajama Idiot says, hi Christopher, my question is how many commemorative coins have you found in all your videos together, including the 50p's, £2, 10p's and world coin hunts? Oh, endless, endless. Uh, well, knocking on for a thousand Benjamin Bunnies alone. Well, it would be over a thousand Benjamin Bunnies because the counters that I had on my book two of the 50Ps, um, that was almost at a thousand itself. And before that, uh, I would imagine that would take it well over a thousand, two thousand, uh, a thousand. But uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head the exact amount of coins. I don't even know the exact amount of coins I've looked through, let alone how many <laughs> commemorative ones I found. And I don't keep them all. And the vast majority of them do go back to the bank, back in circulation. Ooh, 2018, what's it gonna be? And for an HS, awesome. Well, we got one from the first bag. We still got a whole nother bag to get through though. Dean Edwards says, love the videos. Uh, and if you had to choose, would you have one bag of cues or one bag of Newtons? Bag of cues, 100%. Uh, Ashley Sparrowhawk, that, that's the person who keeps trying to catch me out on uh, live streams, trying to get me to say, uh, the um, how can I say it without saying it? You know the little home hubs that you say their name and they you can talk to them, give them commands. Tries try to get me to say that to set up everyone's um, devices, but you won't catch me out. Uh, but the question is, if you go to a country, what country would it be? But you could only get there. But you but you can only get there. Get out of the plane and get back on after you've left the airport doors. And the next and the. And then get the next flight back. Oh, so I've got to fly in and then fly out again. Um, 
There are lots of little islands in the Pacific where the they only the only flights happen once a month, so maybe there. I'll go to a Pacific uh, island in the Pacific um, because I'd at least guarantee myself an, a month there before the next flight goes out. Um, Noah D says, couldn't think of a question, but wanted to answer the giveaway. <laughs> uh, Dylan says, in your 10p videos, you get asked about what set you'd like to design. It's normally the counties, but uh, what would these have on them? Are there borders or shoe thing unique about them? Uh, also, what denomination would they be on? Um, so, in my in my mind, the 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 celebration of the British counties. Um, again, I do I, 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 maybe the pound coins. That could be our first commemorative pound coins. Uh, that would be awesome. I really like that idea. Now, I want that's just come off the top of my head. Uh, commemorative pound coins because they make tons and tons of them. Uh, it's the most secure uh, coin in the world, or so we're told. Um, so why not put an awesome design ex uh, well, uh, celebrating the whole of the United Kingdom? Um, but in my mind, it's going to it would be obviously you'd have the you'd have the name of the county, um, maybe even a little uh, map t to show you where in the in the country that that county is, and then something significant for that county. So myself living in Hampshire, I would imagine it would be Jane, Jane Austen. That's probably the most famous thing from Hampshire that I can think off the top of my head. Um, but just think of all the awesome things you could have on on the coins, these landmarks, these. Um, 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 I don't know buildings that are iconic for um, uh, within the county or whatever. So uh, that's what I would have on pound coins. I would have something about the county on it, name of the county, maybe a little map to point it out. Keen Collect says, "How many coins do you have in your question? Roughly in my collection, uh, in excess of five thousand. Well over 5,000 now, that's how many are on my new mister, and that doesn't log on the majority of my UK coins, which I haven't logged for a long time on my new mister yet. Uh, Benjamin Bidgood Gittings says, First off, congratulations on reaching so many subscribers in such a short space of time. Secondly, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the final trailer for the, f final trailer for the new Star Wars has been released. So my question for you is, what is your opinion on it? Do you think it'll be good or bad, judging by the trailer? Well, it's a bit late now. <laughs> that's the, um, I'm working through old uh, Q&A questions from older older giveaways so um in terms of the rise of skywalker i was really excited for it i couldn't wait for it and i thoroughly enjoyed every last moment of it uh, there wasn't a moment where i wasn't sat there in awe with my like my jaw hanging open or i wasn't like on the edge of my seat or maybe at times also being a bit getting a bit emotional with some of the characters and some of the scenes oh it was just it was amazing i loved it i absolutely loved it um, Leo Howard says, where do you get your coin collecting collection books? I buy them from eBay, although hopefully soon there'll be some Christopher Collect books on their way. Uh, Dylan Games says, do you like animals? Uh, yeah, I like animals. I like animals and coins as well. Uh, Amy Brownlow says, have you ever found a Christmas coin in your change? I found one uh, Isle of Man Nativity 50p that was an angel long, long time ago now. Um, and unfortunately, that that I lost a bit of the footage corrupted, and it, it was a whole nightmare. But uh, yeah, I found one Christmas 50p, and it was an awesome find, and I've never found one since. Uh, Comedic Creep says, "What is the best way to start a coin YouTube channel?" Uh, so again, the advice I always give people, and I get this question quite often: find what makes you unique. What's going to make people come to your channel instead of, or in addition to coming to my channel, with all the other guys that make the videos? There's so many people doing it now. Um, you, we, you, if you're looking to make your own channel, you've completely lost the first mover advantage because there's so many of us doing it. Um, but yeah, find a, find something that no one is doing that you're interested in, um, and have a go at it. Uh, and also reach out to the creators. I mean, there's a core group of us that work together and speak on a fairly regular basis. And the only reason we do that is because at, one, at some point, one of them has reached out to me or I've reached out to one of them or I've got to know someone through someone else. Um, so it's a nice little community. Obviously, if you don't want to harass people <laughs> with requests, if I uh, turn on my phone tomorrow morning and I've got 100 messages from someone begging to do a video, it's probably not going to go down well. But yeah, that's the way to, That's the way I would recommend doing it. Reach out within the community and just keep at it. You, you don't, again... Um, if you're thinking about doing it, if you're if you're running a social media channel, or whatever, don't get too tied into the views, the likes, the comments, the da 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 da. da. Um, with consistency, hard work, and uh, putting out great videos, those subscribers will come, those views will come, the likes will come. Um, 
so don't get too weighed up and tied into hitting certain milestones by certain dates i never did and i know i still don't do that obviously if i'm getting close to a milestone i start thinking right i should probably get something nice planned for a giveaway but outside of that um apart from well, the one exception was my 2000 pound 50p coin hunt there's a certain amount of views i want that video to get to just purely because of the time it took to record that video the time it took to edit that video i want to see that one doing well so um yeah but again if that absolutely bombed Oh well. <laughs> um, next co question comes from McAvitt, your way. Uh, your subs will keep going up and up because this is a very interesting channel, thank you. And you're a likeable chap. Uh, I don't collect coins personally, but enjoy watching you go through them. I have to say I don't really care for coloured coins. I'd rather see them as metal, so I won't enter for the giveaway. If I get drawn out of the hat, please draw it again uh, for someone that would really that would really like the coins. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Um, a very kind word, so thank you for that. Um, but in terms of coloured coins, I think I've had a few, obviously. Some of the silver proofs have, have had colour on them, and the dinosaur bunks and silver have the base metal and the coloured so I'm gonna be it's gonna be interesting comparing and con contrasting those ones when I get them more to more to tell you on that video when it when they haven't arrived yet so uh, unfortunately I'm not on the Royal Mint's priority mailing list I'll do a couple more questions uh, Michael Mosley says hi Christopher I'm now three years into coin collecting and I've been getting more inspiration from you and your videos I have only one question how did you come into coins on YouTube uh, there's some there were some great people that were doing it at the time I was watching lots of American coin hunters um, was trying to look for UK coin hunters I found absolute coins I found UK coin hunter and uh, UK coin hunt that were doing it I thought this looks like fun I'm going through lots of coins anyway let's make some videos and here we are two years later <laughs> last question comes from Gav Sav I hope I win and good luck to everyone my question is uh, what would you do if Ray is a Skywalker it's February. If you've not watched Star Wars, you're not going to be upset by spoilers. But I'll give you uh, a spoiler um, now, right now. So, be, so if you haven't watched it and you don't want it spoiled, mute me until I give you a thumbs up. When I give you a thumbs up, we're, we're done. I think there's enough time. Um, I didn't want Rey to be a Skywalker. I was desperate for her not to be a Skywalker. I was quite happy for her being an entirely new character. I was quite happy for her to be some strain of Kenobi. I did not want her to be a Skywalker. I did not want her to be a Solo. Um, her turning out to be a Palpatine blew my mind. I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely shocked to the core with it. Um, and I thought that was amazing. I didn't want her to be part of the whole Skywalker clan but um, her being a Palpatine I think was really really good I really liked it so yeah that's my answer on, on that one so spoiler over um, and with that I think we'll get back to the coins well there we go our finds for today two jerseys which is kind of neat and one letter N well these letters are so so elusive even finding one is a success of my books well it's not a new one for the book, but we'll carry on hunting for the last few that we need, especially the four we need for 2018. That would be awesome to tick them off finally. But as ever, all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!